So it's another problem for statics of rigid bodies. This is the moment of a force about a point in a three-dimensional structure. Guys, as we have recalled before, yung moment natin, moment is the cross product of your distance r. Is the distance from the point to the point of application ng force cross yung ating force vector. Okay, in this problem, kita natin dito, a precast concrete wall section is temporarily held by two cables as shown. Knowing that the tension in cable BD is 900 newtons, determine the moment about point O of the force exerted by the cable at B. So, ang goal natin dito is to find, okay, find natin, hanapin natin yung vector R, which is kung ang point of, uh, kung saan tayo magmo-moment is point O here. Okay, the distance from point O to B is your vector R. So, this is R, say, B relative to O. Okay, R sub B relative to O. Then, yung ating force, kung hindi natin yung force vector niya, this is along, okay, along the BD. Itong tension dito. Tension BD is along this cable BD. So, this is force 900 newtons. Then, ang record dito is what is the force, or I mean, what is the moment about O of this 900 newton force along this BD, since this is tension BD, okay? So, ang una natin hahanapin, we can find this RB uh, with respect to O, okay? That is the vector uh, of R. So, along the x-axis, ito yung component niya, itong distance, along the x-axis, we're going to the right, okay? Ito yung component niya dito. Here, ito siya, itong distance. So, this distance here, going to the right, that is positive. So, that is 2.5 meters. So, this is plus 2.5 meters I along the x-axis. Now, yung component niya along the y-axis is itong upward here. Okay, upward tayo, positive, that is plus 2 meters J. Now, we don't have a Z component since nakalay yung ating R in this xy plane, wala siyang z component. So, yung z niya is 0. So, 0 meters k. Okay? So, distance r natin, b with respect to o, is equal to 2.5 meters i plus 2 meters j. Now, next, nahanapin natin, of course, is the force vector. So, pwede siyang pagpalitin, guys. Force cross r if you just switch also the direction. Kung force cross r, Distance naman from point B to O. Since na ito, R cross F. So, let's use, ito kasi yung mga nasa libro, let's use R cross F. Para at least alam natin that this R here is the distance from the point. Okay? The distance from the point kung saan tayo magmo-moment to the point of application noong ating force. Okay, let's find. Okay, hanapin natin yung force vector F. So, that is 900 newtons times... Okay, multiply lang natin siya. As we have recalled, recall natin yung ating previous topic. I-multiply lang natin siya doon sa unit vector along BD. So, that is vector BD, the position vector natin, all over the component of BD. So, 900. So, F equals 900 newtons times, okay, yung ating component sa BD. So, ito yung, reference, ito yung reference point natin. Okay, ito yung reference point natin na D. Now, if ang point natin is ito. So, along the x-axis from point B to point D, that is negative 1 meter. Negative bakit? Because it's going to the left. So, this is negative 1 meter. So, this is I. Okay? Negative 1 meter I going to the left. So, ito yung ano natin, reference na, na point D here. Then, along the y-axis naman, if we have recalled this, ito, if this is point B here, yung component nitong BD along the y-axis is downward. Okay, downward siya, papunta doon. So, that is negative 2 meters. So, this is negative 2 meters J. Then, along the z-axis naman, papunta siya doon. Okay, papunta dito. Here, along here. So, that is going out of the screen so going out of the screen papunta sa labas that is positive z axis so this is plus 2 meters k so i-divide lang natin siya sa resultant ng bd in order to find the force vector so this is the square root of so negative 1 meters squared plus negative 2 meters squared plus 2 meter 
squared. Okay? And the uh, force natin is equal to, okay, 900 newtons. So, negative 1 meter I minus 2 meters J plus 2 meters K all over, okay, all over. That is the square root of ito. Kuhin natin yung equivalent nito using your calculator. So, square root of 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 2 squared. So, that is 3. Okay, 3 ito. So, F, F dito, F is equal to, so, distribute natin yung 900. So, 900 newtons times negative one-third. So, one-third na lang because itong M natin dito, meter will cancel out. So, negative one-third times I. So, distribute lang natin yung 900 newtons. So, this is plus, okay, 900 newtons, okay, times negative two-thirds. Here, this is two-thirds. So, this is J, okay, plus, so, 900 times two-thirds k this is newtons you simplify this out so f equals so this is negative so 300 newtons i so this is negative so 600 newtons j so plus 600 newtons k you already found those force vector then i cross product natin siya so moment about o equals R B relative to O cross F. Okay? So, that is equal to Okay, yung uh, vector natin for R is 2.5 meters I plus 2 meters J. So, this is 2.5 meters I plus 2 meters J. So, cross natin dito sa force. This is negative 300 newtons I minus 600 newtons J plus 600 newtons Key. Okay, so we can use the determinant method to find the moment. So moment about point O is equal to. So I, J, K tayo. So I, J, and K. Okay, so eto sa taas natin. This uh, row here is your R. This row here, second row sa baba. This is your uh, F, force vector. So, so R natin, 2.5 meters. Huwag na muna natin lagyan ng unit. So, that is 2 meters. Then, along the z-axis, 0 siya. Wala siyang component. Then, for the F, force natin, 300. So, negative 300. Then, for J, that is negative 600. Then, for K, that is 600. And, we just do the determinant method. Now, we cross this out. Cross out natin to to find I. So, moment about O equals. Okay, so this is plus. Positive siya. And get the determinant of this. Okay, determinant of this 2 by 2 matrix here. So, 600 times 2. Okay, so 600 times 2. So, minus itong cross niya. That is 0. So, negative 600 times 0. So, 0. Then, switch of sign tayo pag J na. So, plus. So, minus naman dito. Then, we just erase this and we cross J out. Okay? Then, we get the determinant of this 2 by 2 matrix again. So, 2.5 times 600. So, 2.5 times 600. That is N minus natin. Minus itong cross. So, 0 siya. So, minus 0. Then, change of sign ulit tayo. So, this is plus. So, for K, cross out natin yung K. Okay, just cross this out here. Then, 2.5 times negative 600. So, minus yung cross nyo dito. So, that is negative 300 okay, times 2. Then, we perform your operations here. So, moment about O. So, be careful of the sign. So, doon tayo magkakamali guys no, sa mga signs natin. So, this is... 600 times 2, so 1,200, so this is along the I, so this is J, so this is K, don't forget those unit vectors, so this is 1,200 Newton meter, so I, so minus this, okay, so 2.5 times 600, so minus 1,500, okay, Newton meter J, then ito, 2.5 times negative 600, Okay, 2.5 times negative 600. So, minus 
negative 300 times 2. So, this is negative 900 newton meter k. So, this is the answer. Okay, ito na yung answer natin, guys. So, that is how you find those a moment about certain point in a three-dimensional structures. So, pointers for this topic, of course, vectors. Okay, vectors. Uh, finding the vectors and your cross, okay, cross product. So, these are the foundations of this specific topic. It's all about vectors, cross product, okay? The use of unit vectors, para hindi na tayo dumaan sa trigonometry, we use those unit vectors. So, additional dito na, ano, na foundation concept is unit vectors. Okay, so pwede natin siyang ilagay dito sa vector. So, that's our topic for today, guys. Thank you for watching this video and see you on my next video.